town of Zwiechum has a long history dating back to medieval times when it was part of the Kingdom of Poland. It was granted city rights in the 13th century and flourished as a centre of trade and commerce due to its strategic location on trade routes. Dominating the skyline is often a church or a cathedral, serving as a spiritual and architectural centrepiece. The, uh, the old town of Zwiechum, like many European towns, has a rich history and architectural charm. It's characterised by narrow cobblestone streets, colourful buildings and historic landmarks that reflect its medieval roots. One of the focal points of the old town is the Market Square, pronounced Rynek or Rynek, which served as the heart of the town's commercial and social life for centuries. Surrounding the square you'll find old merchant houses, some of which have been meticulously preserved while others have been repurposed for modern use. Despite the historical significance, the old town of Zwiechum also bears the scars of more recent history, particularly with the shadow of Auschwitz looming nearby. Wandering through the streets you'll come across quaint cafes, artisan shops and small museums that offer glimpses into Zwiechum's past. There may be hidden courtyards or tucked away alleyways waiting to be discovered, each with its own story to tell. These structures, with their ornate facades and towering spires, are not only places of worship, but also symbols of the town's cultural heritage. You'll definitely feel the uh, old town of Zwiechum exudes a sense of timeless beauty and resilience, inviting visitors to explore its streets, uncover its history and reflect on the complexities of human experience. This once uh, medieval castle now serves as a museum not far from the hotel. The railway station was originally constructed in the late 19th century, during the period of rapid industrialisation and expansion of the railways across Europe. 
played a crucial role in connecting Azwichim to other major cities and regions, facilitating the transportation of goods and people. During the early 20th century, the railway station witnessed increased traffic as industries in the area grew and Zwicham became an important hub for trade and commerce. The station served as a vital link between the town and the nearby industrial centres, contributing to the economic development of the region. Following the end of World War II, the railway station resumed its role as a transportation hub, albeit under drastically different circumstances. The town and the station became symbols of remembrance and reconciliation, with efforts made to commemorate the victims of the Holocaust and educate future generations about the atrocities that occurred in the area. Today, the Zwicham railway station continues to serve as an important transportation hub, connecting the town to other cities and regions in Poland and beyond. It stands as a testament to the resilience of the community and serves as a reminder of the complex historical legacy of the region. Efforts to preserve its history and educate visitors about its past remain ongoing, ensuring that the lessons learned from the past are not forgotten. Together with the nearby Katowice railway station, the bus station forms a key transportation hub in the region, catering to the needs of the commuters, tourists and business travellers alike. The bus station is conveniently integrated with the Katowice railway station, allowing for seamless transfers between bus and train services. The integration makes it easy for travellers to connect between different modes of transport and access a wide range of destinations. It serves as a major hub for regional, national and international bus service, providing connections to cities and towns across Poland and beyond. Popular routes from here include connections to Krakow, Warsaw, Rocklaw and other major destinations. And this is our bus to the airport. Katowice International Airport was established in 1940 during World War II as a military airfield. It served as a strategic base for the German Luftwaffe and after the war the airport was taken over by the Soviet Union. In the post-war period the airport gradually transitioned into a civilian use. Passengers and cargo services began to operate from the airport connecting the region with other cities in Poland and abroad. Over the years, Katowice Airport underwent several expansions and modernisation efforts to meet the growing demand for air travel. New terminal buildings, runway upgrades and other infrastructure improvements were implemented to enhance the airport's capacity and efficiency. The airport emerged as a regional aviation hub, serving not only the city of Katowice, but also the broader Silesian region and neighbouring areas. It played a significant role in facilitating business travel, tourism and cargo transportation. It's now gained prominence as a hub for low-cost carriers, particularly Ryanair and Wizz Air. These airlines established a strong presence at the airport, 
offering a wide range of affordable flights to various destinations across Europe. At Terminal A, departures from Katowice Airport door. And this is our ride home. Please like, subscribe and share to this channel and click the bell to get notifications of new content.